Hello students, from today onwards, I'm going to start your EOT of term number three. Okay, as per the term three, first thing, what we need to understand how many units we have. We have three units, unit number eight, unit number nine, and unit number 10. Okay, we have the three units. Now just see that from which unit, how many questions are coming. So the first thing, if we observe the writing part, in question number 16, if you observe, there are two parts, part 1, part 2. Part 1 is from your unit number 8, okay? That gives you 5 marks, fine? Then unit number 9, that gives you 5 marks. If you observe question number 17, okay, both the questions are from unit 9. It means this gives you full 10 marks. Question number 18, if you observe both the parts are from unit 9 10 marks and question number 19 it is from unit number 10 that gives you 10 marks okay so unit 8 gives you 5 marks unit number 9 gives you 25 marks unit number 10 gives you 10 marks that is clear so in this video i'm going to start with unit number 8 so unit number eight in the writing parts gives you five marks and it's a very easy peasy question. So once it will come, you can solve it within a minute. Huh? It's not a very difficult one. So we will start with unit number eight. So unit eight is your unit eight center of mass center of mass. So what are the small, small things? which we need to focus, okay? In the case of center of mass, as the name is saying center, let's say we have a different, different type of cases. First thing, what we need to understand, we need to understand the body. We have the different things. One, we have uniform. And the other type is non-uniform, non-uniform. Uniform, let's say, if you have a square with you, so you know where is the center but if you have a uh, any random body so it's difficult to understand so where is the center second thing what we need to understand in case of bodies we have a groups let's say we have a single body single body two body system two body system and the multiple body system multiple body system so as per our slavers as per our chapter what we are going to learn we are going to learn two body system and multiple body system so i will explain you two body system and how to find the center so here is the keywords what you need to understand first keywords First is called position or location. Second is the center. Center of mass. Let's say I'll draw two points. Let's say this is the point A and this is the point B. Okay. So it has some coordinates. Can I say coordinates are X1? y1 is it fine okay it has x2 and y2 till here clear i said the word coordinates coordinates is it clear okay now the another word what you need to understand this is also called position because this is the position of a and you have the coordinates is it fine but now where is the center Let's say this is the point C where we are getting the center. So this is called capital X and capital Y. I will tell you lots of students get confused. What is small x, small y? What is capital X, capital Y? I will repeat it for you. Small, I will write here small x and y. These are called positions. Is it fine? 
and capital X, capital Y, these are called centers, the coordinates of center. You can say position coordinates and capital X, capital Y, center, center coordinates. Is it clear? Okay. Now, what is the rule we have? We have a very simple rule. So what we need to understand. Let's say we have this body. It is called M1 mass 1. This is the body M2. Here is the distance R1. Here is the distance R2. Okay, fine. So to find X, what are the coordinates of X and Y? So we say M1 X1 plus M2 X2 over m1 plus m2 do you understand clear okay similarly you need to find y m1 y1 plus m2 y2 over small m1 plus m2 is it fine this is the simplest thing which you need to apply clear okay if you have the multiple body system multiple body system let's say if you have more than one one here one here one here what you need to do this is called m1 yes or no this is let's say m2 this is your m3 clear m1 has some coordinates x1 y1 this has some coordinates x2 y2 it has some coordinates x3 y3 till here clear easy okay Let's say just join them. No need to even no need to join them. We need to find the center. Let's say this is the center. How to find the center? Simple. Capital X. Let's say this is your capital X and capital Y. So now instead of two, use three. If there are four, instead of two, use four. M1 X1 plus M2 X2 M3 X3 divide by m1 plus m2 plus m3 do you understand y equals m1 y1 plus m2 y2 plus m3 y3 easy yes or no okay m1 plus m2 plus m3 so like this way you can solve any type of question fine is it clear okay now let's start with the question number one and you need to first try yourself let's say i'm giving you the hint here first try yourself and then check do you understand yes or no so guys let's start with the question number one what we have let's see we have the coordinates of center of mass what is given coordinates okay whose coordinates center of mass for the extended object shown in the figure guys okay i have a first question with you given what is given in this question think and tell me is this small x small y or capital x capital y coordinates of center of mass so can i say i have capital x i have capital y yes or no l over 4 minus l over 5 is it fine okay what are the coordinates of the 2 kg mass 2 kg mass let's say give him the name m1 give him the name m2 give him the name m3 is it fine okay so just first write the given values and then we will solve the question m1 2 kg okay here x1 y1 we need to find out fine m2 what is given 3 kg 3 kg and the coordinates are l and 0 okay third is m3 what is the value 4 kg and the coordinates are 0 and negative l over 2 okay here shall i give you a shortcut so that you can easily solve with the help of your calculator. So the shortcut is shortcut. In your calculator, wherever is the L, put equals to 1. Put L equals to 
1. Then it's easy for you just to get the answer. Okay, what is the equation we have? Capital X is equals to M1X1 plus M2X2 plus M3X3. Yes or no? Okay, M1 plus M2 plus M3. Can I put the numbers similarly so that you can find the y also? X. So, what is the value of x? I told you. What is x? L over 4. So, can I say 1 over 4? So, that it will help you to solve with the help of calculator. Equals. What is m1? 2 kg. x1 I need to find. Plus m2. 3 kg. Okay. What is x2? L. Multiply 1. Plus m3. M3 is your 4 kg. And here is the value your 0. Okay. Divide by what is M1? 2 plus 3 plus 4. So when you find the value of X, capital X, or small x, X1. Okay. Put this in your calculator. Yes, yes, yes. Find out fast. Okay. Once you put this in your calculator, you will get negative 3 over 8 negative 3 over 8 so i told you l is equals to 1 okay in the end put l here clear because it is multiplied with 1 similarly when you solve for y okay change the color y equals m1 y1 plus m2 y2 plus m3 y3 okay divide by m1 plus m2 plus m3 so what is the value of y negative l over 5 so negative 1 over 5 equals okay so 2 multiply y1 plus 3 multiply 0 plus okay 4 multiply what is the value here negative l over 2 so what you need to place negative 1 over 2 divide by 2 plus 3 plus 4 solve it so you will get y1 is equals to what is the value you will get 1 over 10 and guys what is 1 over 10 i told you in terms of l yes so your coordinates are so coordinates for m1 are here the value is negative 3 over 8 l comma 1 over 10 l do you understand so this is your final answer fine okay now let's move to the next question okay this is easy huh you get one two three okay let's read the question and we will solve it three identical balls what is the meaning of identical balls tell me tell me tell me guys i'll tell you something whenever you are doing the questions first you will try yourself write down the given values and how you can observe or how can you apply the equation then see how i am solving because this will help you to identify okay so three given balls three identical balls so can i say m1 is equals to m2 is equals to m3 is equals to m because all are identical of mass m are placed in configuration shown in the figure find the location of center of mass okay second thing what we are looking for we are looking for small x small y or capital x capital y location of center of mass center of mass means capital x we are looking for we are looking for capital y do you understand easy okay so, how to solve capital X? You know the equation. Capital X equals M1 X1 plus M2 X2 plus M3 X3. Yes or no? Divide by M1 plus M2 plus M3. Fine. Okay. Place the values. What is M1? M. X1 is. Okay. Let's say take the values in your way. Let's say this is your M1. Fine. This is your M2. This is your M3. So, what are the coordinates? 0 and A. So, can I say this is your X1? This is your Y1. Similarly, 
x2 y2 x3 y3 is that fine okay place it so m1 what is x1 0 plus m2 is m x2 is 0 plus m3 is m m0 is a divide by m plus m plus m clear so can i say this becomes okay m and m cancel so a over 3 this is your x is it fine similarly if i find y you place it similarly huh so y you will get m times 0 or m times a y1 plus m2 times of 0 m3 times of 0 divide by m1 plus m2 plus m3 so you will get y is equals to a over 3 is it fine clear so the final answer is x and y is equals to a over 3 a over 3 clear so this is the question or this type of the questions can come in your come from the unit number 8 so in the next video i will cover for the unit number 9 okay so till then just practice this type of questions and guys again first try yourself and then check my video okay till then take care bye